Hello, peoples. Today we're going to be talking about the FDA and how they are trying to ban menthol cigarettes. Menthol cigarettes are preferred by African Americans. Approximately 85% of the people that smoke menthol cigarettes are black people. I'm not really sure. Most of the people I know that smoke smoke menthol cigarettes and they're Mexican. So, I don't know. Menthol cigarettes are easier to smoke because of the menthol in it, and it makes it easier on the throat when you smoke it. That's why whenever people smoke, uh, like, Marlboro Reds, it actually burns your throat. It doesn't have any menthol. That's why it hurts. So, it's easier to smoke menthol cigarettes, and it's harder to quit. Of course, the tobacco companies, are in, they don't want this. They don't want to lose their profit, but... The government is trying to stop people from smoking menthol cigarettes and apparently it will help 300 to 650,000 people in 40 years. So I used to smoke. I stopped smoking because I have kids now and I don't want to be smoking around them at all. And I feel better that I, now that I don't smoke. I need to exercise, of course, but when you stop smoking, it helps you, like your taste buds, for some reason, I'm not sure. Um, tell me how you quit smoking, or what do you think it would take for you to stop smoking a cigarette? Um, when I quit, I just quit cold turkey. What are you going to do? Our next story of the day is Russia, Moscow, has deployed trained dolphins. Trained dolphins. I repeat, trained dolphins to protect their naval base in the Black Sea. I didn't know you can train dolphins to protect a naval base. So basically, the dolphins are supposed to stop Ukrainian swimmers or like people from Ukraine from swimming, getting to the naval base and basically sabotaging their equipment. That is crazy to me. How do you train dolphins? I understand you can, you know, you can make them do tricks. But how would they prevent people from going in? You know? How, how do they stop them? I, I want to know. So according to a satellite image that was taken by the USNI, they found those dolphins. Tell me what is the craziest thing you have trained your pet to do. Have you ever trained a pet to do something crazy? Tell me. I really want to know. And our last story of the day pisses me off to the core of my being. A Connecticut boy, a six years old, was burned by his bullies. Basically, they got tennis balls, put gasoline in it, lit it on fire, and threw it at this little boy's face. I'm not sure... What kind of upbringing can cause somebody to do this kind of... Sh I I'm not sure how evil you could be, but I think this is, this is insane. Because whoever did this to this little boy are little kids too. It's... Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. To the parents of this little boy, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. And to the parents of the kids that bullied this little boy, what are you doing to your kids? I mean it. Why do they have so much hate? No kid should have this much hate that they can burn somebody's face. Uh, I, 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 I can't.
I, I don't understand. I will never understand. I'm not sure if I bullied anybody in my life, but if I did, I'm sorry. But I've never bullied somebody to the point that I would hurt them physically or burn them. That is insane. Like, subscribe, do your thing for the YouTube algorithm. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, just comment. Comment what do you think. How, well, how would you react if somebody bullied your kid like this? How would you react if somebody burned your kid? Tell me in the comments below. Stay odd, fam.